Hey, God bless you, my friend and sister Sharon, and today we are discussing beware of unclean Christians. And what do I mean by Christian? Friends, listen, we are not established in Christ through being called a Christian. We are established in Christ and in our salvation from being filled with God's spirit. Everybody calls themselves a Christian. Everybody. They know the language. They know scripture. Many of them are constantly uh, uh, allowing pride to drive them to waving constantly at you that they're the prophet, they're the evangelist, they're the pastor, they're this, they're that, they're this, they're that. But friends, none of this establishes you and I with the Father. It is the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And this is why you have to be wise and you have to have the wherewithal to discern the people that's coming and going in and out of your life. Friends, there are many people who are wicked. They are wicked to their core and they claim to be Christian. But we're not called to be Christians. We're called to be followers of Jesus Christ. And the scriptures tell us that that the followers, the disciples of Jesus, was first regarded as Christians in Antioch. But let us not get this thing twisted, friends. We are called to follow Jesus. And whether or not you call yourself a Christian or not has nothing to do with do you know Jesus? Have you been born again? Because if you have been born again and you still have that same foul disposition where you are sarcastic, you are constantly spiritually profiling people. When you come around people that do this, they're usually real. You can feel it. They're sneaky. They're, they, you, they're looking at you, but when you look into the windows of their soul through those eyes, you can see that they're constantly trying to size you up. Friends, this is not who we are called to be. We don't go around just trying to dissect everybody. It comes to us. The spirit knows everyone. So we don't have to try to to be the PI (laughs) of people. It naturally will come, but it, it comes through love. It doesn't come through being conniving and manipulative and just, you know, there are some people, my brothers and sisters, point blank, they're evil. And when you leave their presence, you feel violated. Oh, yes. These unclean, quote, Christians are usually church people. That's all they are is church people. They don't live for Christ in their private life. They are nothing but hypocrites toting about scripture, toting about their favorite dogmas and doctrines. These people will leave your presence and you will know that you have been in the midst of an unclean spirit because you feel it. My beloved brothers and sisters, You and I are not obligated to keep fellowshipping where you are being violated spiritually. You can feel it. Be wise, my friends. The scriptures do tells us do not allow anyone to deceive you. And and the scriptures also teach us to not know people by their flesh. It doesn't matter how they're dressed. doesn't matter what their uh, uh, social status is, how much money they got, what their zip code address is. A person must be known by what the spirit is telling you. And we cannot ignore it. There are some people, especially charismatics, you need to hear me today, they're crazy. All they want to do is prophesy because they're not prophesying. They Every every other day, they got a prophecy for you. Something wrong with these people. Something wrong with you. If that's you, every other day, they got a dream. Every other day, it's something. No, you're deceived. Jesus was not behaving this way. Jesus was not going around forecasting night and day. This, that, and that. The Lord said this. The Lord said that. To you personally, they're giving you all these personal prophecies, friends. And run. Run. 
run from those who try to use their, their so-called authorities to suppress you into their fellowships. Run. You can feel that dominating spirit where they will tell you or ask you rather who is your spiritual covering and you can feel that spirit of control where they're really trying to bring you into their little clique, their little schism. Friends, many people in this hour we're living in, they are not born again. We speak the same. And, and one way you know you're in the presence of an unclean church Christian, because you need to understand Christian came through men. They labeled the disciples Christians. Friends, you are a follower of Jesus. That's who we are. That's who we really are called to be. Followers of the master who died a horrific death for the sins of men. That's who we're called to follow. When people ask me who, you know, are you this? No, I'm a follower of Jesus. I'm not offended if you want to call yourself a Christian, but my friends, we were called to follow him. They were labeled that, and it was actually a, 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 a term given to Christian as mockery. That's really why they were calling them Christians. They were mocking them. They were first called Christians in Antioch. But what was it before them, friends? They were just disciples, followers of Jesus. That's who we are. And you got to be careful of all these so-called Christians with their crosses on their neck and their Bible toting and their bang bang in scripture and that 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 spirit behind it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. When you when you bring correction to these people, you will always know they ain't nothing but some church going Christians. That's right. Because they are the ones that want to buck. They want to fight. They want to tell you that you're judging them and your delivery is so harsh and you're this and you're that. No, some people must be snatched out of their foolishness or they're going to perish. My friends, beware of these unclean spirits. They're everywhere. Everybody claims to be a Christian. And just as wicked wicked to the core and we are not obligated no day of the week to tolerate abuse and people who are evil and you can feel that spirit attacking you friend you can feel it you can feel them unclean spirits to be in these people be wise my friends tread lightly the scriptures teach us to be wise as serpents gentle as the dove the scriptures teach us friends to follow jesus and let me tell you, Jesus will call you out. Yes, he will. Oh, yes, he will. See, that's the problem as I close this exhortation. Many of you got a wrong portrait of Jesus. You think that Jesus was some kind of passive. No, Jesus will get your stuff straight for you. That's right. That's why he was not intimidated by the, the, the religious leaders of his day, the Pharisees and Sadducees and the scribes. He was rebuking them. He was coming for them. All you got to do is be a student of the four gospels. Jesus was not a punk. That's right. And when you have his spirit, friends, and you begin to walk in the straight and narrow, you shouldn't be one either. Don't let nobody bully you and push you around in the spirit in the name of Christian because, friends, these evil, wicked folk is everywhere. And if you one of them, you need to go and ask God to fill you with the real spirit. You must be born again. No one will have to tell you what that's like when you have a real encounter with the Father. No one will have to give you bullet points on that. Trust and believe me on that one. God bless you, my friends. He or she that has the ear to hear, tread lightly. Be aware of every person around you. Stop walking around here sleepwalking. Wake yourself up, friends. This thing is no joke. Walking with God is everything. We walk carefully because the evil one is constantly working through his children, mostly called Christian. Enough said. God bless you, my friend. Till next time.